Hi there, it's your boy Olushino and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on this channel or you're not yet subscribed, please smash that subscribe icon and turn on notifications. Also like this video if you like it. No pun intended. So I've seen a few tweets about a few tweets and you know maybe some Facebook posts about the Nigerian music sounds about the Nigerian soundscape, about the fact that the sound is changing. I tend to disagree with those who hold that opinion because but first why do they think like that? I think, considering the way 2020 has started for the music scene, if you look at two or three of the albums that have been released this year, Boo of the Bullets album by GK, and by the way, I reviewed that album, you can check my review of the album up here. Peace and Light album by Duken and Black Magic version 3 album that's been released this year so far. You tend to believe that the music is shifting towards a particular genre, it's shifting to a particular side and where moving away from the noise so to say and also the fact that majority of those who are consuming the music content so majority of those who are listening to the music coming out of nigeria and africa and majority of the awareness that is now to be for the african music for the nigerian music is based on the diaspora's acceptance from diaspora and is that diaspora sound influencing our music are people trying to create the kind of music that will be also acceptable to diaspora so uh those who have thought that way are not totally wrong i think what is going to happen and is what has been happening over time sounds will evolve genres will evolve the music will continue to evolve over time you'll go back to some old beat at some point and that's what is going to happen because i don't think people are going to be playing chike's album in the club even if they are going to get played in the club, you would see DJs have messed up with that beat and with that sound. But of course, if you want to settle down in your house and listen to music and listen to music that will strike a chord in your heart and your soul, it's a good song you want to play. If you want to pass a message to your lover, it's a good song you want to play. Another thing is that artists will come and go. I mean, where is the like of Slim, Slim Case now? Slim Case ruled 2018, 2017 with his Shaku Shaku beat. It was on almost every song. He featured Whiskey, Olamide, Tiwa Savage, even Don Jazzy at some point, The Band. Where is Mr. Real today? And go to the other side as well. Where is Asha? Where is Brimo? These people should be topping chat. They should be winning awards and awards. But Nigerians by nature, we are a people who like to celebrate a lot. I mean, you wouldn't go to a birthday party and yeah, the DJ play you Fire on the Mountain by Asha. Nobody wants to listen to that. Those sounds will have their own space. People will increasingly, you know, become more conscious about music and about the message they are trying to pass in their music. But I don't think those sounds will dominate the Nigerian music scene. We need to put all of this into consideration. When we want to look into the future, it's right to look into the past. But I think, just to cap it all, I'm impressed by the way 2020 has started, you know, for Nigerian music and African music as a whole. I'm impressed by the artists, by the sound that have set the pace. And I think going into the year, we should begin to make more of this kind of music. All right, guys, that's my prophecy, if you wish to call it that, of what the music scene holds in the future for the Nigerian music and the African music as a whole. I'm not a music expert and I don't claim to be one. This is just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section and so we can have a discussion about that and educate ourselves as well. If you like this video, please smash that like icon and if you don't, there's a button like this as well. And then I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.